it. All day. We are motivated. We are dedicated. Yes, Come on now. Yes, Come on now. Yes, we will win. Yes, we are the best on the field. Yes, and we in the field like who? All day like who? All night like who? On the blue light. Who? On fist like who? Deep fist like who? This ball like who? House call like who? And it sound like who? And it sound like who? And it sound like who? Now, Texas has, uh, they had their spring game. And before it got all terrible with the rain and everything, it, it wasn't that bad. And it was interesting to watch. You know, I'm not a Texas fan, but I wanted to see what they're going to look like. Is there any, anything going to be different? You know, obviously they have Sterling Gilbert as their new offensive coordinator. About five other position coaches that are on the team now. How are they going to look? Well, they looked okay. I'll say that. They look okay. There's some, there's some promising things, and, and there's some things that they obviously still need to work at that doesn't, you know, a lot of people want to jump, oh, their offense looks great now. All right, we're going to go for an 8-4 and four season. Let's, let's hold on a little bit. Let's, let's hold on. Now, Shane Buesley, uh he threw for 299 yards and two touchdowns on 22 of 41 passing. Not bad. But again, and, and I'm not here to knock Texas at, at all. I'm not, that's not my point. But you got to understand, and I get it, it's his first game again in college, right? It's his first time going out there other than in practice. This is his first live action. If he's going to be a starter quarterback, obviously 22 of 41 and just slinging majority of those passes that he was is not going to work against Oklahoma against Oklahoma State, against TCU, teams with better defenses than Texas. It's, it's just not going to happen. Now, Dyrone Swoops, the senior, he was 4 of 16, 71 yards, and two interceptions. While one of those interceptions should have been a touchdown, but the receiver let go of it. Actually, he dropped it. It hit the ground, but they, they didn't review it. Uh, and it was end up calling an interception because the cornerback stripped it. Um, either way, it should have been incomplete because the receiver dropped it. But had he held on, it should have been a touchdown. Crazy stuff. Um, you know, he didn't look all that great either. You know, Coach uh, Charlie Strong said Shane had, did have a good day, a really good day. Tyrone has had his days. He didn't have it today. But at practice, you see it happening. Again, now first-year offense coordinator Sterling Gilbert said he'll judge the spring game showings as just one more practice, as and one more data point in his process toward determining who will lead the Longhorns in their season opener against Notre Dame. Remember, on Sunday night, they switched it, prime time, just for them, blah, blah, blah. So, then Gilbert said, quote, We still have a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of football left. We got the summer, and we got it two days. There's still a lot of process, a lot of evaluations to go through, and a lot of reps. And by no means did anybody play perfect today. Absolutely true. Perfect thing. Exactly what he should have said. Exactly what he should have said. Now, the other factor into this quarterback competition at Texas is Gerard Hurd. Now, he was a 10-game starter last season. More dynamic player than Shane, than Tyrone, Tyrone, uh, Tyrone Swoops. Uh, a, a much more dynamic player. But he's had to sit out the last two weeks of practice in, in the spring game with a shoulder injury, which Sterling Gilbert says, as much as I, I like to go fast, I want – that thing to be right on the quarterback competition. So he understands Gerard Hurd did not play, so he's not going to just determine, all right, you didn't play, but Shane did pretty well. We're going to throw that guy right in there. He's, he's, he's our leader right now. Because he knows what Gerard Hurd can bring to the table. He's seen him in, in the few practices that they had before Gerard Hurd got hurt. Um, me, personally, I, I think it's a tough quarterback co competition, but it's a really good one that Texas hasn't had in a while they've had quarterback competitions ever since Colt McCoy left, but none of them have been good quarterbacks. None of them have been a good quarterback competition. They've only had it because there was no good quarterback. 
now you have a really good quarter, quarterback competition that if Swoops ends up getting the nod because of being a senior, being more experienced, being hopefully a more of a leader, which that is what seems to put him down a lot other than his just the playing ability, is that he hasn't been known to be a leader. Maybe he gets the nod, and then Shane can sit back, Gerard can sit back, both the young guys, and say, all right, see what can happen. But it makes you wonder what will happen with Shane. Now, he did an amazing job. He shows potential of being the starter, if not this year, next year, and possibly, I, I, doubt, I doubt he doesn't being, he doesn't beat Gerard Hurd next season. Unless Gerard Hurd becomes the next Colin Kaepernick, which he reminds me a lot of. Unless he becomes that, I, I think Shane has this next year and on to the future until he's gone. Um, you know, it'd be good for Shane, but you got to wonder if he gets a red shirt or not. You know, in Texas, of course, it was with Mac Brown. They didn't good, do a good job with red shirting. They red shirt. I, I don't know if it was a quarterback or a receiver. I, I can't remember. And they red shirt him the entire season until the bowl game. And they ended up playing him in the bowl game because of a, another injury happened. Burned his entire red shirt. So that whole year was wasted. Can't get another red shirt. So you got to think, all right, do we want to keep here? Do we want to keep Shane here longer and just say, all right, we're going to go with Gerard and Tyrone swoops. And we got to hope that if we, re- you know, we red shirt Shane, that's it. He's done. We don't want to burn it. I, that hasn't been talked about. I doubt it happens because we know that Tyrone swoops is not reliable. He's not consistent. Neither is Gerard Hurd to move that offense. Shane looks like the guy to do it, but do you really want to throw in a freshman again and get burned? Watch him get hit a lot more, maybe get it roughed up. And we've seen what happens to quarterbacks when they're not used to and they get roughed up a little bit. Their confidence goes down. Their self-esteem goes down. And overall, their playing ability starts to go down as well. Don't want to have that happen with Shane. Overall, I think Texas fans should be happy. You have a good quarterback competition. Um, obviously the play calling was going to be really vanilla. It was going to be real plain, but from what you saw a lot more productive than past offensive, you know, what I saw offensive line inconsistent, and that's going to be a problem. Receivers <laughs> drop a lot of passes, a lot of easy passes that should be there. They drop a lot of them. And that's pro- par- part of the problem with uh, swoops and of him being four for 16 and part of Shane for being 22 41. There are a lot of drops that you just cannot have cannot happen against the Big 12 defenses, uh, especially Notre Dame early, because they will uh change that game very, very quickly. Overall, very happy. If you're a Texas fan, be happy. I still think you're a year away from being an eight and four team. I think this season, obviously, I would have to look at the complete record, which I plan on doing each conference by conference, team by team uh, of the Power 5 video predictions here on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. Um, I should have it up in a couple weeks. But overall, be happy, but I think you're a year off from being that team, from being that team. So we'll just have to see on that.